go live button. Go I've just it. hit the go live button. We do are it, now live. The go live do button it, you has been coward. hit. You man, he's not gonna tell you. See, okay, 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 audience. Do you see? Do you see this man? This old man? This picture of an old man that's on screen right now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. holding the thing. Yeah. Do, do, do you know who this is? You fool. This is the new you oldest fool. man in the world. It's been well, since how, how like a couple he? days ago. He's 111. Which, he Damn. honestly looks pretty good Damn. for 111. But he only became this a, a few days ago. And I'm not being paranoid or nothing. But this is the face of a man who <laughs> expected <laughs> yeah, okay, to become the world's oldest man. It's like, yeah, 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 he was prepared. He's what like, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did that shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. y'all motherfuckers ain't done shit, bro. This is the real Sigma. This is the real Sigma grind set right here. Yeah, just not dying. Yeah. Just do yeah. how is is there like? Do you think there's alcohol in that? Because it doesn't like. It might be orange juice, but it also feels like the texture wise. I get yeah, it. it I like get a, it. It looks like it looks like a mimosa. Yeah, I get that vibe too. Yeah. 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 So there's definitely there's definitely a nip of alcohol in there. Just to oh, keep yeah. it. Just. Like, or you could just keep false shy. systems running. Yeah. <laughs> or I could just be shy to orange juice. Uh, uh, I'm wondering if he has a diet like a. Uh, you remember the story I told about how uh, there was a guy in New York uh, uh, who was in his 80s and he, he, he was a homeless guy. Well, he was a homeless guy, but he like. Lived in those day motels, you know, those crappy, yeah. crappy, yeah. And uh, and they, uh, he was, he was on a, his diet was, uh, bacon sandwiches and Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. That's yeah, all okay. he ate. It yeah. always surprises me when you listen to like how did you live so long and you hear just somebody say like yeah i've just been chugging cigarettes and uh smoking beer basically i just i just had a thought about what mdf max said <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> autistic autistic people with their fucking safe foods <laughs> yeah yeah it's, oh, it's funny. God, damn it. god damn it m now you got me thinking about it too <laughs> oh, now, now, now I'm thinking about the jokes about like autism was never a thing in our family until this generation. Oh yeah, how about dad and his trains and the fact that he wears the same kind of outfit? Oh shit! For the past Did you 40 know? Years. I I really you love know? uh fucking uh old people going like oh this didn't used to be a thing like my grandma says this sometimes like fucking your brother is in a, has <laughs> spent his entire life in a mental institution your brother <laughs> yeah i mean i uh, i don't know if i've told you but like uh you know given that i am uh, you know as as you all know i know uh, there are public records of my family going back several centuries and my family has always been known in the fucking roman uh, no, uh, noble circles as the weird the weird ones are not super social, but they are very enthusiastic about things. And also <laughs> relatively stingy. <laughs> mm. Of course. Of course. Yeah, and, mm. and these days we just call it, oh yeah, that's the Alti family. <laughs> we just yeah. nicknamed them the Altis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's like oh, there's actually God. like one of my fucking great great grandparents in a in is like a cameo in a relatively very famous book in Italy uh, mm -hmm. because he was friends with the author uh, <laughs> and he is just depicted basically standing in the corner in at a party. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you, I, you know, I've I've made jokes Chilling. about like. <laughs> I, I've made jokes about how, like, in, in Warhammer 40k, and also, you can also see it in, like, D&D &D and other uh, fantasy and sci-fi settings. You have those people who are just, like, he spent centuries working this craft of putting runes in the, in the, in the axes and guns, 
and he's perfected and he's done nothing else. It's like, oh, so he's a multi-century old autistic person. Yeah, yeah. I, this is, old dwarves have autism in my mind. That's kind of, the, yeah. that's how they do it. That's yeah. how dwarven craftsmanship is. Just they have a higher genetic likelihood of being autistic. That's why dw dwarven craftsmanship is the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This yeah. reminds me of the fact that I have a friend who, until very recently, like everybody, like in my in my in my uh, high school friend group, is clearly some level of neurodivergent. That's why we are friends. And one of that them sounds about like, right. Yeah, and one of them was always like very like subdued and like never had like anything basically he never had a really a special interest he never had like uh anything that he went about that always had a lot of imposter syndrome and recently oh. recently oh my god guys fucking the fucking dune movies <laughs> holy shit no. <laughs> what happened with the dune movies i had to see it three times in seven days because he wanted to go to the cinema. This is the second Dune movie. He wanted to go to the cinema multiple times to see it. Oh, and then he kept I finally he kept unlocked it. the autism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I have fucking... You it seven times? times? No, three times in seven days in the fucking yeah. first week Why? that it was out. Because I have an autistic friend, and he really oh, <laughs> he's not the only one. You're you're a good yeah. friend, Maddie. You're a good friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I yeah. both feel sorry and hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, and then, <laughs> this is shit that he sent us. <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> the, basically, he's shouting he's random. Be an Italian. <laughs> God damn it, Burger. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I, I, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything being posted, unless it's the picture of oh, wait, Charles fuck. that I posted. I posted. I wonder the what it's like to be an Italian autistic. It's it's, it's pretty the same or, as being autistic. Be less... Everyone else in the world just in Italian. Well, will there be less <laughs> yeah, or more really. hand movement? That's my question. Will there be less or more hand movement? Oh, <laughs> culturally speaking, more. it depends. It depends. Uh, some of you have met me. I move my hands well. Do you? And I'm know? autistic. What? Uh, nah, I'm kidding. Autistic Dino you... hands just become a symbol in Italy. It's just, <laughs> this is just the symbol for autism. You can't actually yeah. see what I'm doing because only the audience can. The audience being oh. hopefully no one. Uh, one of my one of my no, favorite shit. Hang on, there's one of my favorite jokes. That made me Five people. I laughter. One of my favorite jokes from Family Guy was when uh, they just, uh, Peter decided he wanted to move to Italy, and he moves to Italy and he decides he's gonna. He's like, and like they do the bit of like him and Brian are going to go into a shop, and he's like. And like Brian's like, you don't even speak Italian. How do you expect to live here? And he's like, I I speak Italian just fine. And he walks up to the clerk and he's going, a bit bit bop bit boop. And he's moving his hands. He's beep bit bop And like the was... Italian guy is like confused as you know, trying to talk back in Italian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not, not the same episode, but there's seven Italians. The and, fucking... and like the 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 guys is getting angrier and angrier, and Peter's like, "Well, be be the bop be the boop be the bop," and it's just they just get a shouting match. It's just oh, so God. the so best dumb. fucking uh, episode of anything of like living in the homeland is when the fucking when the Sopranos go to fucking Italy when they go to Naples. <laughs> That's such think... a good fucking. Oh, ep. Listen, what what's his name, Polly? Yeah. Doesn't Polly just go like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, I mean, he's like they they he's like he's called a slur or something, something, and then he just calls everyone he meets a slur because he thinks it's them saying hello, and they just look at him like they're about to shoot him in the fucking head. What? <laughs> what was... oh, That's great! Lord. Holy shit! Oh, I thought you were gonna go like I remember this game described to me. I was just like. They're all super dumbfounded because of how gay Italy is. Like that was the that was the joke. No, I prefer yeah. Tony fucks someone there. I mean, he's obviously it's Tony <laughs> Soprano, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's You're Tony. Like, I, I, I can't I feel, wait. Did you, James Gandolfini <laughs> well, that's... Feeney had bad words. Yeah. He was a piece of shit, but I get what you're was saying. James oh, I'll be right back. Piece of shit. Of as far as I uh, remember, he was just extremely like he had no self confidence. Oh. 
We have lost. We have lost him. We have lost. We've lost the Sioux Falls position. Uh, We've lost South Dakota. Uh, Speaking Uh, of losing something, um, I am slowly starting to lose my sanity. Very oh, yeah. fun right now. Slowly, slowly Why? Too, that's two. Uh, there's already two qualifying statements. I'm well, not sure no, I agree it's with. not necessarily. It's not necessarily that I'm slowly starting to. It's more I'm slowly realizing that my sanity is at the edge. You know. Well, because why? Because today has just been very trying for me. Because yeah, um, I talked to my boss about coming back full time. Because again, need the money. Um, I'm in somewhat of a better place. Still ups and downs, but you know, it is how it is. And to be, this is what gets me. So the devs have told me that they would support me when it comes to going back to full time. You know, because they're they're a bit overstretched at the moment. My boss then says that, uh, oh, I've talked to the CTO, who was the guy who said he'd supported me. And apparently they don't need me back full time. So it's just like, is the CEO here the one lying right. their ass off? Because the right. CT- I know what the CTO is going through. I believe what he told me when he said he would, you know, support me in coming back full time. And or like, is the CTO actually just a lying piece of shit? It's just like, yeah, I'm... I mean, shit like this mm. happens in big corporations. The right hand does not know what the left hand is doing. Sorry, I just... I had to, I had to take a take a phone call from work. Uh, looks like I'm going to L.A. Hell uh, cool. yeah. But, sorry, I, 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 I jump... Yeah, I'm taking, a tra- uh, I'm taking a trip. I'm taking a load of port uh, nice. from here cool. to L.A. Cool. Um, but, uh... No, I, I jumped in in the middle of the conversation. What's going on with your work? Uh, no, I'm not going back to full-time. They will increase my outer hours, and I've asked them to give me a new contract. My boss just said, oh, we don't need to. I'm like, that's good. No, get start. a new contract. No, yeah. no, they get, get, I, I was get like, a contract. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But anyway, so, like... There's that. I need to talk to them tomorrow because, like, new contract. That also means I'd probably have a new salary, possibly, but it's not going to be that much better, to be honest. But, like, now mm. instead of working two and a half days, it's three full days. So it's like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I don't think Silvo's laughing at you, but no, no. I know that. I see, I see the text, but yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> the box yeah. explorer. <laughs> That's good. Holy shit, your office uh... friend is great, Carl. <laughs> I'll pass on the message. Your one autistic friend, man. The one <laughs> oh, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. have. The... the one that I have. None I of no one. no others that you Posh, no. don't, don't have Silvo. those. I have to say this real quick, yeah. Burger. I found you new. I found you a new weekly nickname. Them. Fade well, the yes, box it's, explorer. It is, it's That's... right. It's right in the. It's my nickname. It's Dalsy. No, I mean a new one, like the next one, the freaking. Well, where, frickin where is it? Uh, I I got an idea for a bumper sticker. It's not as extreme as this, but it would be a. Uh... I'm very sensitive. If you honk at me, I will cry. <laughs> I'm not in this yeah. vehicle. That's a... <laughs> yeah. This vehicle Apart from your... that, so I have friend. been finding... This is the only part that I actually find fun, is like... play. Of course, playing um, the big, big game at the moment, which is All Divers 2, but I have found a lot of joy in actually going through my game library and finding all the soundtracks I've not listened to and just, like, going through all of them right now. That I'm just, like, a good fucking a... callback to shit, honestly. Yeah. I like doing that. But, like, oh, the one yeah. thing that pisses me off is it's so much memory to put on my computer. Like, the amount of video games, especially on GOG, that have soundtracks is just wild. And 
I can only use MP3 at the moment because I'm putting them on my phone. And guess what? Apple, while they say, oh yeah, we support WAV files, they don't. They absolutely... WAV files are the most basic audio files you yes, can put yes, on are. a device. And With Apple doesn't fully support them. It's a 50-50 chance that those files will work on your iPhone or Mac. Really? Yeah. Well, question. I have question. tried multiple fucking well, times. Well, there's a re there's a reason. There's a reason time. for that. Is because WAV was developed by Microsoft, and if they had to fully support it, they'd have to pay Microsoft. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Of course. It is. Uh, the also, when you yeah. hang on, hang on, and a snippet from solutions. that same chat. This is this is a weird question, but like, if you, what do you play it through? Like the iTunes app, or through like your. Or if you like the files media player, like how do you play? Uh, like if you really put them on your phone, how would that work? What? You Does just play it through the music app. Yeah, like oh, there's, okay. um, the, yeah. the iTunes. Yeah, iTunes. Thing, uh, yeah. I, I, iTunes only exists now for, win for Windows. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. Yeah. I'm, a fucking, I'm a fucking idiot. The fucking music app, I mean. Okay, so you can yeah. take MP4s and play them through through the music app that you, you like. You'd, you'd like listen to your yeah. iTunes library for. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. No, they uh, uh, iTunes has pretty much been like sunsetted, uh, and it really you really only use it on Windows now because if you use if you used your iPhone or iPad with a Mac, it just sees it as another as just a device. You don't need to use iTunes at all. You can drag really? and drop and all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'll that's how you can do it now. I'll that's all. Exactly? I blanked out for I'll a second. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. The one thing that I find hilarious right now um, is I've been putting like a lot of songs together on my computer while I play uh, Helldivers because Helldivers music, the Helldivers music in game is quite good, but it gets so repetitive. So very yeah. easy. I, like, say, I really look. I said this. I say this about a lot of video games sometimes. And Cito called me a psychopath. <laughs> Wait, well, what because I, I like I like turn off the game music and listen to other music. I was, like, yeah, I was I doing this. Thing. I was doing this with Frank when I played Crusader Kings, and he like uh, he fucking joined into my session while I was playing Crusader Kings, and the Crusader Kings music was off. But obviously, he couldn't hear the the music off my like sound card, just the 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 actual Crusader King stuff. And he he texted mm. me like, "What the fuck are you doing playing this game without any music? <laughs> you it's actual like, psychopath!" It's, um, no, like a game like never... Crusader Kings. Oh, go ahead, Posh. I will never call someone a psychopath for turning off the music, regardless of what game it is, but I will look at you a bit funny if the game has, like, over, f over like, 30 tracks. Example, the Homeworld, the Homeworld games, the amount of tracks you get is insane, but, like, if it's for games that have, like, very limited sets of tracks, I kind of understand. Especially if those tracks get very yeah. boring very quickly, and it's, like, a game that you repeat play constantly so stuff like a roguelite or um like online experience like that but like if it's a single player game i will look at you weird not to say that Dude, you're a second, I, 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 I just think you're weird yeah for like civ 5 for uh hearts of iron uh like basically any kind of game like that where you can take turns and you can plan and strategize or even like with like sim like uh city skylines i'll just turn the music off and now listen to me other music or I, that's how i get through a lot of audio shit. yeah podcast i vouch vouch i actually I, I wasn't called a psychopath but um way back when when i was playing a, a run of uh fallout new vegas i uh, my one friend thought i was weird because i i Instead of listening to just the ambiance of uh, of the game, I was I was listening to audiobooks while while playing Fall uh, Isn't while the playing point New of Vegas. Fallout, the listening to the radio all the time. I guess it, it made sense back in Fallout Three because you know there's the the one in uh, Galaxy News Radio that's super important to listen to, but like 
In New Vegas, you kind of don't need to, especially if you're just out fucking around. You need to if you want to listen to the great fucking music that's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, the, mu- you know. the music's the music's great, but when you know after seventy hours, it's like I, I mean, I, I, I would. Yeah, I, I, I have fair, a I have yeah, a playlist. The 15th- the, yeah, that's the like all the Need for Speed soundtracks, and like when I play a Need for Speed game, which doesn't happen often, that's usually the one that I put on. I mean, I personally <laughs> listen to the Reddit, yeah. the Reddit text to speech stories, but that's that's me. Yeah. Since since most of the music in Need for Speed games are, are licensed music, or do the older games keep the music in, or does, does EA? I don't know. I've heard uh, recently something about like uh, fucking. Uh, this may have been on the stream about like the uh, old GTA games that now ship without yeah, the original. Was one, music. I was, I, yeah, I was the one who talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked about how like one of the top guides for like uh, the the GTA like San Andreas and GTA Four. The top guide is here's a link to the entire soundtrack on Mega. Here's how. You, here's where you need to put it so it will work again. I'm bothered by this. I'm. I really am bothered by this. This is something that bothers me. But you yeah, know, that's, what, that's why I was curious. Death of art. <laughs> it, it's that's a what, weird. That's why I was curious Speak... about Need for Speed. So I don't know. Weird... I think I like. I have uh, uh, like the the latest Need for Speed game. The old. I mean, the oldest one I played was the Miami one. You know, the fake Miami one. Yeah. Um, but like uh, most of the old ones, I, I think they just ship. On CDs, uh, I mean, I you can probably still buy Most Wanted on Steam, right? Let me check if you can buy Most Wanted. I have a. I have, <laughs> I'm sorry. So. I'm sorry. I have, in the fucking. In the fucking. Region. I have a weird what? death of art story. If anyone wants to hear it. What you got? So this is gonna be weird. I could use some advice on this. So three yeah. years ago, there is a pi a, a animated pilot called May called Mayhem that was released. Um, it was based off of this guy's a web comic, and the friend who made it for this guy did it as a birthday present, and they tried it using it as a launching off point to like start a web series. It's based off of his own comic. It's called mm-hmm. Sir Mayhem, okay. and uh, it's been completely deleted. The, ch- the links don't work. Um, all official media that was that was posted on that channel no longer there. The pilot in and of itself is archived though, and like I was able to get MP4s for the intro and the full pilot off of Facebook. Um, the main reason why is that uh, I, I, I I went into this because I was a really, I really liked the theme song, which was a really good punk garage rock track. I don't know if it's the right genre, but, like, it is gone. The theme song for this show, the, the single version, is completely removed from YouTube, and it's no longer available to play, to be, to like, be streamed on Spotify or Amazon Music. It is gone. That and sucks. I, and yeah, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the guy's Twitter page, and he has a link to his Patreon, and even his Patreon is gone. Jesus, damn! Uh, you can what apparently buy called? Need for Speed Most Wanted on Steam, but it's from 2012, and it's not the original Need for Speed Most Wanted. They just remastered yeah. it basically, and then locked mm-hmm. half the game's content behind DLC. Ah, oh, fuck him! Uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's... that's such a fucking EA thing to do. Uh, so yeah, I have the... I have the EA, I have EA access, and so I got all the Need for Speed games that released on Steam, and it only goes back to like 2012. <laughs> Weak ass shit. Damn. I mean, they try to destroy old games. They don't want to compete. I mean, with themselves. look at look at the video that um, Accursed Farm released. Damn, that was that was a good. I haven't video. watched the I haven't watched the Cursed Farms in a while. What was the last yes. one he put? Uh, Hey everybody, my my freaking uh my uh, Discord decided to crash on me. I'm fine. You're back. Uh, were you were you about to say uh, M? You said you you found it. You you looked this up and you found it. Yeah, it's his Twitter handle, Sir Mayhem underscore X. Yeah, and so the, so the creator was called Magpie, and basically I tried Twitter. I tried Twitter for the artist name. The artist's name is Ash Bricky. Real, real quick. The theme song exists in some capacity. The like the shortened intro version, like for a theme song, like like for like for like you know like an ep- like a cartoon theme song exists. Um, hmm. and so I was able to download that. So here's what happened though. I eventually tried. So I I contacted the artist. They said, um, I don't know. You're gonna have to ask Magpie, the person who created it. Um, and then I DM them on Twitter and then uh and Tumblr, and uh, this is. 
Oh fuck! It's such a we. I I'm I feel weird about say, telling people this, but like, barely any people watches this. No offense, bro. No offense, burger. But um, basically, what they said. Yeah, you know, for this, I, I I still have this conversation saved because like, I honestly need people's like I guess like opinion on this because like this is just such a fucking weird like info to have. Uh what the fuck? Yeah, I'm uh, looking. At, I'm looking at this. Tweet uh, from Villains and Co. Yeah, so oh, here, let, me, let, me pull, let, me, and, let, yeah. let me pull a Mayhem Theories. So, what do you, what do you mean Mayhem Theories? So, what are you looking at? No, I'm looking at Villains and Co. Because it's so, linked to, to Sir Mayhem. So, here's here's what happened. And it's the second thing that fucking gets me. Um, I'm gonna, Okay, I'm going to read this whole thing out. So, everyone just save your reaction until I'm done. Hi, why did all the Sir Mayhem content get deleted? The cre- the co-creator. The uh, other co-creator. The co-creator abused me for years, and I finally broke free. I didn't want a reminder of my suffering on my channel anymore. Second message. I heard from someone that he also died last year, so if his co- accounts are gone, that's probably why. I had blocked him on everything, so I have no idea what became of his accounts. Sorry, blocking now because seeing this uh, even brought up is kind of triggering for me. Oh, that's so, rough. He died. I, I am just, there's so much mixed emotions. One, I'm not going to fucking try and at anybody with this. Like, this is even pushing it. But I imagine uh, posting this, a screenshot of this on Twitter to try and reveal this to, like, the fans and crew of this episode, that'd be a shitty thing to do, right? Just confirming no, it'd that, be shitty. That would be, a very, that'd be a very bad thing to do. Obviously, you don't know the whole story of what happened, but mm-hmm. if they're, like, if they're saying, like, bringing it up is triggering for them, it's best just to cut your losses and just back away. I guess just my whole thing is that like is that like it's lost media now. That isn't lost because of just time, but purposely deleted so no one can. I don't know why. Just like destroy making something. Maybe a piece of art. The most acceptable way for for media to get lost. Yeah. Is what? Is it for? Is it just being deleted because it like has negative associations? Sorry, I'm having trouble. By the by, the um, creator. Here's a weird thing that I found regarding to music. Okay. I yeah. Uh, I, just, uh, yeah. I I have a I have this uh, folder on my computer that's like com- uh, compilations of various uh, types of like folk music uh, from around the world, um, and they're just labeled after like the cultures and nationalities. And recently, I I, I found that folder again. Oh yeah. The- uh, and it contained <laughs> this this mix called like Scottish traditional music. Now listen to it. Uh, and it was very good, uh, and there was like one song that I became like very obsessed with. Uh, so I turned, I put on, I turned on like Google to to look for this song, uh, to see like what it, what the like Shazam it basically. I don't know if you what the Google term for it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Google Zam it, okay. and it came out as a uh, it is the song the song Glasgow by <laughs> a, an entity no, a, a, an artist known as Shabble One. Uh, that came out in 2023 on the album Traditional Scottish Vibes. Now, two problems with this. There was The song was clearly a rendition of Van Diemen's Land and not something called Glasgow. Uh, and Glasgow. also, it couldn't have come out in 2023 because this file has existed on my computer since 2016. Yeah. <laughs> so I went down this fucking rabbit hole and apparently this there's, there's, uh, you can buy... That song uh, on iTunes, you can hit, listen to it on Spotify. You can listen to that whole album actually on iTunes and Spotify, and you can you can fucking buy it on Amazon Music and all the fucking music platforms. Um, and this uh, this is a channel, by the way. This is not a topic. It's a channel. Whoever owns this channel named the channel Shabble One Dash Topic, right? Um, all of the, uh, and there's like various different sort of compilations of songs of like traditional music from various areas around the world. Um, mm-hmm. and if you go on like, uh, Spotify and all that, 
these are all registered, uh, like, the artist is supposedly this Shabble One person, who obviously is not the artist who created, uh, fucking Canto Greco Byzantino Altadoso. That's, like, that's probably Italian. Uh, yeah, there's, like, fake Italian names in uh, listed as the composers of all these songs, too. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, Nepal National Day... A uh, fucking uh, Ukrainian metal ghost dance native like a lot of a lot of very different type oh, of music. I'm loving this. And I'm I uh, it. I did I dug into this and I actually discovered the original album, uh, which is called Alba by the musical group Alba that came out in 1976. And that album has basically completely disappeared off the internet. As somebody, there's an uploaded version of it on YouTube where it is copyright claimed, like you can see the little box underneath, by yeah. this Shabal One entity. <laughs> As the song Glasgow from the Scottish uh, traditional vibes thing. So whoever this is has managed to basically uh, acqu acquire the copyright <clears throat> or uh, at least convince all of these online platforms of the idea owns, that yeah. they are the creator of wow. all of these various different extremely obscure and lost to time uh, traditional Bloody artists. Oh, that's fuck? fucked up. That's yeah, so that fucked is. up. <clears throat> that's like lots of legal action could happen with that. Yeah. Yeah, the thing really. is, I, most of these are like, they sound pretty old. Like when you listen to the recordings, they sound like they were recorded a while ago. Uh, and mm. probably by like ver like the I know that the 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 as far as I understand it, the copyright held by uh, for the album Alba, which was the only album that that band ever produced, um, is held by some like uh, a label that's called Celtic Music. Or yeah, I'm Celtic looking at Sounds it. or something, and it's they basically are like a holding company for various traditional uh, sort of uh, folk music from the British Isles. Yeah, I'm also looking at a, at Five Spirits, and it says provided the YouTube by In Grooves. Yes, that too. They somehow seem to be related to In Grooves, which is like a major music distributor, oh, and like a, and like a and like a digital rights management firm. Uh, um, you were you were you you were reminding me of something I saw that happened to me on Audible. Um, that I'm actually kind of irked over. Uh, let me let me post post this so. Uh, this is a book called The Ultimate History of Video Games, and this was written back in like 2005. Uh, so it's a pretty old book. So back when I first started using Audible, I bought the book, and it only went up to like 2004. Yeah. Well, just in the last year, the author of the book uh, finished it. You know, 20 years later, he finished it. He finished a volume two that's that goes all the way up to to uh uh 2022 that's like some george rr martin shit mm. yeah yeah um so what he went and did is he re-released the first book as volume one and then released volume two i had no idea that happened and i accidentally purchased the first book twice uh, and no. literally like i went back and listened to both of them it's literally the same recording it's the same it's the same narrator the same everything yeah. But I, since I didn't realize until after I finished the book, Audible's like, "Nah, we can't, we can't give you a, a return on that." I mean, so Audible it's like, is it's, apparently quite shady, anyway. Audible and Amazon in general, like the combination of them, uh, they, no way. Uh, there's the yeah. story uh, that has made its way in like author circles where. Uh, someone, an author who had just so happened to be a fucking forensic accountant, was required to find Ooh. out that they do like they do some very shady. Like they will basically, uh, you know how in Audible you can basically you get like a free audiobook every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they deduct yeah. this from the revenue that the artists get. What? Yes. Oh, God. Yes. When you That's get a free audiobook, when you get a free audiobook, this is what. Secretly, they take, that they, um, yeah, they remove the fucking, fucking amount of generating a uh, like a freely doable copy of that's a digital how, data. Yes, 
That's how I, that's how I buy fuck? all my audio. Yes. That's how I buy all my audio book is with the credit I get every month. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I mean, that's like, and this was like not known. A forensic accountant had to figure this out. Oh my god! I, 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 I'm sorry. He, this is literally this is literally how game companies think pirating. Uh, I'm sorry. What is oh the god, this? I, is, I'm, I'm so sorry. I blanked out for a minute. The forensic the forensic accountant figure out what exactly. Uh, so Audible uh, deducts this from is... the amount they pay artists, like the price of the audiobooks that they give out for free. Deduction the artist. Oh, that's just some oh, free. Oh, oh, okay. That's still very shitty. But I was thinking, like every credit I had, they they were screwing. Okay, it's on the new credit. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's that's so fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It's like the free audiobook you get a month, basically. That's the. Uh, that's what they do. Uh, uh, yeah, well, that's, of, you, you get a free audio book when you sign up. I think there was a deal for a time when you, when you did you got it every month. Certainly, whatever the, the free shit oh, is that, that you was, get, yeah, they what that was, that. They, yeah, yeah, they have a new tier. They have uh, three tiers. They have the, oh, the yeah. one credit, then you have the two credit, and then you have like the Audible Unlimited where you get to you get unlimited access to a select library of books. I think they said it's like 30,000 30, audio books, and it's like for like uh, seven bucks a month or something. So you get just get yeah. unlimited unlimited access. Right. I'm not. I this this was a while ago. So whatever new tiering system uh, has happened, that would be ve that would be extremely cool of them. Uh, and extremely in character of them if they deducted money from artists for, you know, you paying them to use their fucking products. Yeah. Cause I, I, I assume, because actually, because I, I am such a big consumer of audiobooks, yeah. I do the two credit, which is 24, well, it's basically $25 a month. So I figured at least, because like the one credit's $15 a month, so I figure, okay, Amazon's going to take their cut, so they're going to take like five bucks. I was assuming at least CR's got like ten bucks out of that. I'm I open. Mean, presumably, they get paid if you do this, like, you know, you pay for it in some way. Like, you, you yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I used to, I used to love the unlimited idea, like, you know, uh, you know, like a Kindle Unlimited and, and stuff like that. But then I realized it's like, if you really. The more you consume, the more you're screwing over the authors and the creators. I mean, honestly, the thing, well, like, I sell a book on Amazon, and, like, the margins that you get are so shit. They are so bad. And they get worse oh, and yeah. worse every single year. I'm, go I'm going to be publishing a novel in, the, like, the next quarter at some point, and I'm not going to do it through Amazon. I'm going to do it through, like, drive through fiction. Because at least there, I get a good deal. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of a lot of like a like Tail Foundry and stuff uh, talking about stuff like that. Like they're like everybody's like moving away from Amazon. Yeah, nobody wants to fucking publish there. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, they're Amazon so expensive. Is, to be honest, it, it's it is. I I do have to say it is a bit complicated for me at least because like I can't help but think about the fact that you know. You can just copy digital information infinitely for no cost. So, the cost is the production, of course. Yes. Mm. So, yeah. The, the, fundamentally, it's just the most glaring way to me where, you know. The I, in my mind, people, like, people are going to pirate my book. I don't care. Like, if you have to do that, you have to do that. I like you know fucking shoot shoot me a couple PayPal or Patreon box buy a physical copy, you know if you really want to. I got I got yeah, yeah I got like, physical you can't afford to like, buy the book. Just yeah, that's why I it, you know yeah that's why I bought uh Thirtyful Worlds uh <laughs> yes, just... cool. and then forgot yeah, yeah, yeah. to make it you sign it where when you were literally yes. in my fucking sleeping in my fucking room. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Spilling. we've seen each other a couple times since then. Yeah, we? at this point, yeah, but at this point, I've given up on it. It's also chilling oh. your own, chilling your own stuff on Streamburger. Have you no yes, shame? Yes, I am in fact chilling my own stuff on my own live stream. It's. Incredible. I mean, I, 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 I remember, I remember when you first announced Thirty Four Worlds and it was released. I, I didn't realize 
that when you got the physical book, you got a digital copy ah, for free. Yeah. I tried yeah, to put I went, that somewhere, but it's because I figured this would happen. But I guess Amazon decided to hide to me. that. Yeah. That's what happened to me. I bought. I like a me. I was like, oh man, I want to get fuck? this book because I want. I you know because I like your writings and stuff. And it's like, what, what? I was like, okay, okay, I'll get the Kindle version first, and then I'll put in an order for the physical copy. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, oh well. I mean, what the fuck? you got two. You got two sales out of me. So good on you. Hey guys, the weirdest thing just happened. I just got a notification from a fucking from Substack. What the fuck? What? Yeah, Substack. I don't know how, it, but the notifications were on. <laughs> Sorry, I, Burger. I will read your book at some point. What? What are the subs trying to buy from you? The <laughs> subs? Oh, the subs. What? What do you ask? What? Oh my don't god! Worry, it's I fucking joke. love that. I oh, love that response. That that happened I... to me. That <laughs> happened to me. Oh, uh, that happened to me with Next Door because I like told Next Door I don't want anything from them to be sent to me and then like a couple weeks ago they just started sending me updates for like the sioux falls next door page bro <laughs> and it's just like of course fuck you i got yeah. it because freaking robert evans puts his uh make sub stacks about his scripts sometimes so i figured to read along with one of the podcasts i'd download the app also just because it looks cool so i figured hey this looks like mm. a cool site Oh my god, my dad, my, oh, not, my, not, my, not my dad, my Gerp. uncle, <laughs> my my uncle is fucking in love with GURPS. Oh god, yeah, well, don't, 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 uh, there's too many people, well, there's a couple of people specifically that I'm thinking of who are absolutely uh, incapable of hearing the word GURPS without, you know, having, having a fit. I no, 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 no. Sucking, sucking, sucking the actual tabletop role-playing systems, uh, Dick. It's, it's it's I mean it, le it lets me see it's not like it, it's not even a bad system it's just it's just it's just, it's just, it's just as the picture as the picture shows yeah. <laughs> the book it's yeah. it's, it's the it's it's the uh, calories consumed and expended per day's rule you know rules you know it's, <laughs> yeah. oh my fucking God. no 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 no, but don't you understand? That's an optional rule. Yeah. You can all not the... use it. You can choose to not use it. All of the rules in I'm this going fucking to fucking game end are you optional. All. I, 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 I'm going are you, to are you, end you all. Are you trying to kick open the door of an interior yeah. room or an exterior yeah. door? Yeah, 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 exactly. I think I don't believe I still have the Gus Asparagus uh, book oh, somewhere. Please, no. Please, but don't use the rules that you don't want to use. <laughs> okay, hey. I have a I have a quick question because I I uh, this morning I went to work to do a safety review, and every safety review they give us like a new training video to watch. So this morning I got the training video on driver fatigue, and I actually had to like bust out my my phone to take this picture because I swear I've seen this this guy yeah. before <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy looks he reminds me of some kind of white comedian it but for like some reason it's look like a smug face what the fuck is that a pdf that's but that's PDF supposed to be a this virus driver. yes this is the virus uh, sorry i got it let me fucking let me send you a screenshot of this what the fuck <laughs> let me what send the fuck? you is this an actual wait this is an actual freaking by Ella, by T. Yeah. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Fuck, is this an actual stat block for asparagus some fucker made up for GURPS? Yes. yes. Asparagus <laughs> racism. I love 4 There's so I much, there's so much no racism words. in child porn, but I love 4 sometimes. <laughs> this is, I, I love no this. This, is, this. This advantage is blindness, cannot learn, cannot speak, Deafness. Oh my fucking god, it's be you're playing as asparagus. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, oh, wait, that's a kid. You can you can buy a lot of bonuses with minus seven hundred and twenty-six points, dude. I didn't realize I'm this. Fucking... I thought oh I thought gosh. I thought it was about asparagus the food, not yeah. a character. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like, I, I am now imagining like this uh, uh, hyper powerful psychic levitating fucking. Thing. Yeah, that's the only way you could easily that. build that. 
<laughs> also, I'm, uh, Sigma close up plant with mine. minus twenty. I'm uh, having. Good lord. <laughs> Why? When you posted when you posted the PDF, uh, a really dumb idea went through my head. Where I was like, hey, "Discord should support opening PDFs in the chat," and I'm like, "No, that's a terrible idea." Yeah, <laughs> I actually Why? thought the Why? same thing because I realized it would just upload the PDF. Yeah, yeah. No, well, why, why PDF, idea? PDF, PDFs are a really great way to send viruses. So yeah. having oh, it yeah. on Discord, yeah. PDFs, oh. PDFs can run, can just run JavaScript inside of them. Yeah, who so designed that? That's, that's, oh, who? So I can. Uh, hey, unrelated. That's that sounds like a, a, I said it was a yes. dumb idea. Well, One of the nice like things pain. about GURPS is that the books are so fucking well researched uh, that you will have oh, university no, love... professors recommending them for their courses. I'm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. but Burger, but oh, Burger, no, I, I used but to, Burger, I used to love have reading a Holocaust books. supplement. <laughs> It, I 100% GURPS has a Holocaust supplement. Oh, like, this is not do. even, like, that's out. not even comedically. 100%. Is there a lot yeah, of... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm highly I'm, well researched. I'm going to agree there with there is, there, is a, there is actually a Holocaust uh, tabletop game where you play, where you play as, um, oh, as, uh, you don't, you, you play as the prisoners. Yeah. What you mean, like uh, you mean, like uh, the one that uh, Gideon reviewed? The, the uh, did you ever do a, an actual review of the uh, Wraith? No, the one I'm talking about yeah, I is, did, uh, is I did review the Wraith book. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's um, for, uh, I, uh, Carnal, I should... Carnal Houses of Europe is what the game I'm talking about yeah. is called. Yeah, yeah, that's I made a whole video about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's the Wraith yeah, one. He, yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> um, good question. Are there any pre-made on, hang on, worlds? Hang on. Let sorry, me, sorry, sorry. Uh, World of Darkness mentions mentioned. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, we I talked about this a couple I, days ago. Couple I found this ago. out recently. She she's like the the she was like oh the, oh this is the only female game designer and the only book that she like was the main author of was the fucking Gypsies book. <laughs> oh my god! No, really? Unbelievable, man! Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! I, I mean, she worked on a lot of other books of as which... well, but the one that she was the main author of was that one. Bloody oh, hell! Huh? Fucking funny. Can I get, can I tell you guys a little story about how uh, I was introduced? Like, cause um, I was introduced to GURPS by my much. uncle, yeah. and he offered to uh, uh, let me. They were doing like a one-off thing. And geez, you is that have the real thing? Yeah, I found a site. That I found a site for him. I'll give it to you later, Burger. It's I'm, 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 burger, I'm, burger, burger. Uh, yeah. uh, next April's Fools. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so, yeah. so really, oh, they were doing. No. They were doing the. They were doing the one, you know, a one table session game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, him and his friends, and they include me in. And the setting was. Uh, it was like a an early '90s like New York, uh, like like crust punk kind of vibe, kind of setting, and we were all mercenaries. And when we did we did the whole character creation, uh, we had to roll for uh, for D buffs, and <laughs> because of the setting, it being the late '80s, early '90s. <laughs> Uh, I we had the role for 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 a handicap. I got AIDS. Did you bring on a role yeah. for AIDS? Well, listen, listen. <laughs> at, at least, at least, uh, you, you have to tell us was being black on the table. <laughs> Oh, fuck, man. Oh, good lord. Uh, I mean, race race was something you had to roll for, but I don't remember. If, I, I, I think it was just like you, you rolled for it, and it was just like, okay, you're just this skin color, or you're this race. I don't think there was this, any... I don't think it's that race. This like the, the fucking bell curve meme of like... Uh, uh, racial options should actually uh, come with disadvantages. 
uh, like even if it's like just ethnicity, then in the middle, like, oh no, they should just all be the same, and then the genius yeah. one, with, they should come with disadvantages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's the Shadron, yeah. it's the Shadron way. You know, uh, Shadron yeah. is on both sides of the fucking. Bell no, the they, they, <laughs> the 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 way the way they treat it, they treat it like how how Russ does character creation, or you just get a character. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fate. Hey, Burger. Yeah. Um. So it looks like GURPS is pretty expansive. I'm guessing that there are good that there are a decent amount of pre-written or existing worlds for for GURPS is kind oh, of a way to shit dip ton. your feet. Oh, like, yeah, you wouldn't ton. believe. It, it, so it's literally GURPS... the universal gaming system. So yeah. So did, so did GURPS start? So history of this. Did GURPS start out as um like just the plain rules itself, or did it have like the, what's like the first like. GURPS world that it was like I don't with, know like... which one the first GURPS world was. No, there's, there's so many of them. This is yeah. a really fucking old yep. system. It was like yeah, one of the I'm first. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh my I'm god. Pretty sure GURPS was like one Guys, of the one of, if not the first uh, system. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh my god, they have a Discworld one. Holy shit, they have a fucking oh, yeah, Discworld yeah. one. There's a, there's a lot yeah, of like, they actually probably cool have... Okay, yeah, they so probably apparently have the way for. Uh, the very first, uh, like, I guess, theme, like, module uh, source book for GURPS uh, came out in 1985, and it's called <clears throat> Man to Man, and it's a, it, it's, it's just a basic, yeah. yeah, it's about, it's about uh, men looking yeah, like yeah. Conan the Barbarian, just, like, hammering butts, just it's slamming each other's sex. butts. I can't, yeah. I can't say, I, I do have to say... It's really Wait. cool that there is a Discworld role-playing game. It's a shame that it's in fucking Curse. <laughs> yeah. Wait, roll back, roll back the way. Are you serious? There's actually a gay sex role-play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, apparently the story oh, is that you have to, you have to crawl through a big gay dungeon to get to, to a fat boy's ass. It's man to man. This I this is one this is like the most GURPS uh, image that you will ever see. Because most oh, people yeah, when they think cover. high tech, they do not think of these images. You have to have <laughs> yeah. serious GURPS brain to look at this and be like, ah oh, yes, high tech. Because this is <laughs> this is... isn't ultra tech. <laughs> Wait, 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 this reminds me, this reminds me of a different role-playing game that I actually gifted someone the physical book of, because I found it, and I was like, okay, this is for the person, but also, yes. Oh, I remember this, this is like my favorite, like, source book cover ever. It's so fucking good. <laughs> No, oh this is yes, I've actually I've had an opportunity to play this, but I didn't take it because I was played something else that 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 night. No, it's no, so I, good. No, no it's this like cover I'm uploading. This is my favorite cover. That is a good ass cover. Yes. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. There's a skeleton yeah. assassin sneaking in. Yeah. Hey, Burger, I did send Love you a, a cool PDF site if you want to use that. Some. No, I've I've um I've I I've never done anything of the sort. In part, uh, yeah, we don't st we don't steal. We don't steal. We're good boys. <laughs> this hasn't happened. Yeah, we would. We time, would never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we would nah. never. No, no, no. Uh, more, most importantly, we would never breach uh, Discord nor YouTube terms of service. Yes. Never. Yeah. Never. Okay, uh, give these you are something these are... easy to draw, huh? Come on, this trick. <laughs> um, how about? Yeah, I just, um... I just... Scaling boy. Yeah, do a skelly boy. Do a skelly boy. Skelly boy. <laughs> uh, do me man. as a skeleton. There you fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I've, I've, I'm looking through source books for GURPS, and I had, I'm not going to play GURPS, but I have to pick these up. These look so fucking cool. I, it is, cool. I think yeah. it genuinely is worth it to just read GURPS source books of like GURPS games that you're never going to play. Because yeah, they yeah, are really, like, they're just extremely horror. well researched. Yeah, but also yeah. like you can you can you can use them for like you know. Oh yeah, you can use the you can see, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was actually I was thinking about using these in like uh, just world building exercises. Oh yeah, that's. I yeah. mean, they're really they are worthwhile. They're just not like worthwhile to necessarily play. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Cthulhu Punk, Cthulhu Punk reminds me of that oh, fucking, no. of that fucking uh, fan book that I found that tries to port 
uh, I don't remember what it was. No, it tried to bridge the rules for fucking uh, Vampire the Masquerade uh, <clears throat> Second Edition uh, and uh, fucking uh, uh, Cyberpunk 2020. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh no! That's cool. That's kind of cool. You can imagine. You can imagine. No, it's kind of cool in terms of like you know, uh, of like uh, lore, but like the the fucking rules. Oh boy! I'm sorry. What game are we referring to? Uh, not a game. It's like a fan book that tried to bridge the rules between like uh, uh, Cyberpunk 2020 and uh, Vampire the Masquerade Second Edition. Isn't there isn't there a thing that exists called like there's a collaboration between yeah it was called like a, a World of Future Darkness I saw it on like the TV trips page for World of Darkness was World of Future Darkness not good is that a thing World of Future Darkness I thought I had yeah. come up with that idea myself <laughs> I can I can find it for you yeah I can just Google have you guys it. have you guys ever heard of uh, Delta Green it's a source book for I Call have, of Cthulhu actually yes yeah I love it it's I feel like a lot of like um like the scp foundation and a lot of other like modern like government yes. covers up uh, cover-ups of like cosmic horror shit like you know was founded like with, within delta green because like you play it you, you your characters are like fbi agents cia agents and like atf and stuff and you're going to like places like Cambodia. It's like it's in the 1980s, yeah, yeah, yeah. so Ray, Reagan is in charge. So you're going to Cambodia to Angkor Wat <laughs> because of a cults trying to summon like a, a fish demon thing. I, you know, I do actually I was like um, sort magazine. of. Uh, I prefer Cthulhu type shit that is not in the 1920s. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, oh, think, yeah, I'm the I, same I feel way. like it's been so over-tropified. It's also, been like, so flanderized. Uh, also, like, uh, uh, sorry, uh, to Green, while also being a source book for the uh, for the for the Cthulhu one, there is also a, uh, a standalone RPG of which I played actually a few sessions. Uh, it's um, it's set in modern day that one, uh, and you basically you get to play more as like uh, the uh, uh, secret agencies, uh, which was very funny because uh, in the in the in the game I played actually with Win as well, uh, we had uh, uh, an FBI guy, uh, a CIA girl, and I was basically the leader of the fucking of the investigative uh, uh, of the investigative team, and I was a fucking USPIS agent. <laughs> You were a postal worker. <laughs> yeah, I was. No, no, yeah. no, I was. I was a postal. I was a postal police. Which is so you don't. Difficult. You don't have to watch this now. This is. This is like a sh- audio book for a short story uh, called "A Cold War." I think I, I think talked about yeah, this you've before. Mentioned this one a few times, actually. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I really like it. It's it's a it's a short read, um, but it's basically. Um, the U.S. and the Soviet Union have been exploring and taking artifacts and stuff from like the previous from things they don't understand like uh like um like uh what was it uh, uh you know they did like it references at the mountains of madness where the u.s tried to launch a military operation to explore that city and that ancient city in antarctica and it ended up being a huge disaster when, like, the majority of the force was killed by Shoggoths. Uh, that and then, uh, you when you do that kind of thing. Yeah, That's that'll nice. happen. And, and apparently uh, in Chernobyl, in, in the Ukrainian SSR, Chernobyl, uh, the, the Soviets captured something in Nazi Germany and moved it to Chernobyl. <laughs> And in the, in the story, you're hearing about, like, yeah, we've been running satellites over this thing, and we've noticed that runes are starting to glow over this sarcophagus. Amazing. Something's happening in the Soviet... Something... The, and, 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 like, they just call it... They call the, they call the artifact that the, that the Soviets have, X-A-Thulu. 
That's actually that actually fucking rocks. Just as a concept, like a uh, Soviet American spy story Cthulhu shit, that fucking rules. I like that. Yeah, and, and he, and he like nice. takes, he, he, he he takes like real concepts that like both sides tried to do. Like there's a there's a weapon system because of course the U.S. doesn't know exactly what's in this artifact, so they are they 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 do like a last like a, a dead man switch weapon. Which was based on a real weapon uh, called the Plu- called uh, XK Pluto. This was a real thing the U.S. government proposed, or the U.S. Defense Department proposed. It was a nuclear-powered ICBM that would that had an open nuclear reactor, meaning when it flew across the yeah. sky, it just dumped radioactive gas. Just ex- his exhaust was I radioactive. Mean, that's like a really dirty bomb, too. Yeah, and then it would it, it would target its warheads. It had like thirty warheads, um, and it would it would launch them all as a, as a platform. It would launch them all to their targets, and then in a final act, the rocket itself would just would just fly low to the ground, and just until the reactor exploded, it would just keep flying around, poisoning as much land as possible, and then. The reactor would eventually melt down. It would just boom. Very cool and normal thing to make. What are we? Yeah, I yeah. do have to say. I do have to say. I do have to say. Like uh, fucking blending, uh, blending the fucking cosmic horror with like uh, you know atomic horror is so fucking cool. Yeah. Honestly, what is this called? Uh, I'm sorry. It, 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 the a cold oh, war. Uh, yeah, cold war. Oh. Cold war. I posted the audio. Oh, I posted the I audio. Net. Wait, audio is, no race if that, you want. Isn't that fucking no 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 I'm thinking of something else. I think and this there is... is I think there is like a SCP wiki canon also called that. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was well, it's written by it's written by Carl Strauss or Charles Strauss and he's like a really really awesome he does a lot of really fun uh Cthulhu stuff. Like uh his laundry files series is really fucking awesome. Like the first story in the laundry files is a a story about like uh uh they discover that uh, a group of SS officers uh try to flee Nazi Germany via a portal to a dying world and now they're trying to come back to earth because the planet they landed on <clears throat> is dying and they and they want to come back and like take over the world again but if they do that They'll bring whatever's killing, because it's not just the world they're on that's dying. The entire universe they're in is dying, and it's like if we let these guys come back, they're gonna bring whatever is killing that universe back over here. So we gotta stop them. Yeah, it's not. I mean, like, like morally, that's not too difficult, given that <laughs> they are also given that Nazis. This is like not a big <laughs> conundrum. <laughs> No, it's just it, it's like it's not serious, but it's just it's just so much fun. It's it's a lot of fun. Mm. Also that also that proposal uh for the for the XK Pluto rocket, the death rocket. Uh the story came up that like it, it got all the way up to Kennedy and Kennedy looked at it and was like and told them basically, You guys are fucking insane. No. Yeah, this is the kind of shit they killed him yeah. for. Fair. Yeah, we. Yeah, we. Um, you're not gonna. You're not gonna give us our apocalypse rocket. Fuck you, then. Apocalypse? What? Uh, I'm talking about the weapon, the uh, Plu- XK Pluto weapon system. It was a Cold War proposal as like a, a dead man switch. Damn. Since you know, is some uh, is faction in particular, Gideon. Is this, is there music in this? Is this loud? It's a bit louder. I hope not. Know. Speaking I of music. Okay, all you are ready. I'll try to. There we go. Let's turn this way down. What are we. What's happening? Speaking of music, one of my biggest pet peeves. So, I've told you, I'm currently going through all of my game collection, collecting music just because I fucking can. One of my biggest pet peeves is you tell me it's a soundtrack, right? So I expect it to at least be, you know, having the correct annotations, uh, artist credits, track listing, 
track numbers, album name linked to like the file you know, itself. You, yeah. Half of these do not have any of that. And these are MP3 files. You can easily do that. You can easily fucking do that. For a quarter of those, I understand. These are games that are from like pre-2005. I understand that completely. For the rest of them, I'm going to fucking bitch slap whoever fucking decided not to annotate these. Because oh, I yeah, have I, to do I, this, I, because I, otherwise... It's probably an all... intern of some description, let's be serious. Yeah. Uh, I mean, true, but I, like, I, otherwise, if I don't do this, if I don't annotate them, Apple is going to throw a fit, and my Windows um, laptop is not going to categorize them and just put them all in a giant fucking album just called Unknown Album, Unknown Artist. And when I try to open it in in the music player I'm using on Windows, it will lag very badly. Ugh. Yeah. I, uh, you, you reminded me, um, I forgot what indie game it was, but I got an indie game. It came with a free soundtrack with it, and I downloaded both. And it had what you said it had. It just had, like, just the audio files, like, you know, 0001, 0002. Oh, and, no. um, so most of the and, ones I well, have, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, is that I remember I was searching for something. Uh, I was searching for something with a couple zeros on it, and then the autocomplete, it showed the MP, the, the file from the soundtrack, but also showed the same file in the game data. There's, he le- the creator just literally copied over the soundtrack. Oh man, fucking love it. Wait, uh, by Mine, the way, thankfully aren't annotated like that. <clears throat> All of them have at least a file name, but it's for the ones that aren't annotated. So, like, if I filter them, literally they'll have nothing in title, album, and album artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll literally just have that all lined out in the file name. Yeah, they don't have the metadata. It's like you know, you like know old... that. I, like, while I understand, you do know that you can add it yourself, right? That's yeah, there's MP, no, but it's just yeah, That's yeah, true. exactly. Uh, you there's can a... do it. I, I used to I like can, take. It's... I take took a lot, very good care of my music library, and then I eventually stopped doing oh, that. So I did used an, to do that. that. Look up, look up, uh, look up MP3 tag. It's a tag editor. It it. That's that. It's that's what I use. It works very well. Yeah, because right now I'm using the default Windows Groove, and let me tell you, half the albums I have already downloaded and filtered, I've had to do through Windows Explorer because Groove sometimes does not u- upload an album image. Completely clears all the metadata when I try to save, Amazing. and just puts. I'm just like. Who approved this? Who I just post. I just. Uh, I just. Uh, I just posted a link to the tool. It's. It's free. It's open source. It's German. It works. Thank you. Oh, by the way, by the way, German. it's German. It works. <laughs> by the way, have you? Have uh, you Anki, heard... uh, I want. To... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Anki, heard... uh, oh my God! You go. I stop. Latency, you go. Latency. Okay, uh, have you heard of the fucking uh, attempt to add a backdoor into like one of the very fundamental open source packages uh, of like uh, for Linux that oh, was spotted within, yeah. uh, within I, half I heard the about day. this. Uh, fucking yeah. Philip DeFranco talked about it, so you know it's yeah, a big deal. Go. What yeah. what happened? I don't know why the so, fuck I keep. Um, so here. basically, uh, some. Uh, Probably some government spook somewhere uh, tried to fucking add a backdoor into essentially the basic SSH server that is packaged on every Linux distro. Essentially. Oh no, uh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I, this, yeah. Is, uh, really this is bad. fucked up because like a lot of very critical infrastructure runs on Linux. Yes, exactly. Not, well, no, no, that's not the worst part. That it's both Linux and Unix. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, fundamental right. issue in Linux. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, this was spotted within like half a day of it happening because some guy noticed the, the fucking 500 microsecond latency that was added by the update. And yeah, that's like, so yeah. Yeah. Easy. Man, truly are so easy. the guardians <laughs> at the fucking gates, dude. They are the, the fucking the, the silent watchers staring yeah, into free. the fucking abyss. Yeah, furries, yeah. furries run NASA and autistics run yeah. everything. Like actually, the, the, actually, the, furries the are in the NSA, but I got... intelligence agency. Yeah. Well, they're in the, well, <laughs> furries are in the NSA, but I get your, but I understand your confusion. Yeah, no, Honestly, fe like... fem femboys are CIA. No, I said NSA for 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 for. I said, I said yeah. femboys. I was doing no. making another. You said yeah. CIA though. <laughs> Oh, are they correcting me? I'm sorry. I... No, no, I yeah. wasn't. I was just yeah. adding on to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, but really quick, uh, Auntie, That's what right. you posted. Uh, uh, this is just a heads up for you to see this in the future. Uh, this is a right wing dog whistle. Because if he knows she's doing the death sign for abortion, that's what right wingers are trying to promote. Because you see, she's making the symbol for baby and then mm -hmm. throwing it what? away. Where are we? Where are we? Where, where, where uh, it's a video that was posted. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Where she she's doing baby throw away. The actual proper uh, sign language for abortion is you you do the symbol pregnant throw away. So you grab you you touch your belly and then you do the throw away motion. That's for abortion. Is that's is hilarious? It's funny. It, <laughs> that's equally but, yeah, the pro funny. The proper. The proper term is pregnancy throw away, and yeah. this is the right wing one where they're saying baby throw away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, is okay. Uh, yeah. let me see. I'm guessing you know that, but it's very funny. It posted, yeah, I'd imagine the life news life dot news, com yeah. would be a uh, would be would be. Oh no, pro, this is a, yeah, pro life. The, yeah, no, this is a total, this is a right wing dog whistle, and uh, yeah. I just want to inform everybody. Thank and this you. is just for. <clears throat> this is this is just for American sign language. I don't know what it is in in German or French or or Spanish or. So this video of this of this of this like fucking crunchy ass VHS thing is a sign up. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. By the way, by the way, uh, did you know that English sign language and American sign language are not even in the same sign language family, whereas uh, American and French are sign languages for this. I think that's. I find it. it. It's probably because oh, the, the, the people hilarious. the people who create who help create French sign language probably also helped create American sign language. Yes. And the people who did English sign language were just from England. Exactly. And did their own 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 thing. Exactly. Uh, however, American sign language is considered one of the most developed uh, sign languages. Uh, as I found out recently through Bran, uh, it's because there was an entire community. Uh, uh, in uh, in the U.S., where they were relatively inbred, and they had this uh, so uh, and they had this gene uh, in the in the in the limited pool that basically caused uh, caused deafness. So like ninety percent of the fucking community was deaf, and they just kept developing it, and it kept like basically they they kept being like the ones pushing it forwards and innovating it, and it just <laughs> spread out from there. The Silicon Valley <laughs> of, of deaf people, dude. <laughs> Wait, which country was this? Was this in US. the U.S.? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I mean, uh, you, you'll get that a lot in a lot of uh, people who live out in the middle of nowhere, especially with children. They'll quickly make up their own uh, their own pigeons or Creole languages. That's that's what happened a lot in the Hawaii. Hawaii Hawaiian yeah. Creole uh, was oh, actually shit. developed. Oh shit! Oh, I... Sorry, it's not it's not any random fucking village that I didn't know. It's Martha's Vineyard. Vineyard. Are you serious? Like vineyard. Yeah. Oh, the fuck? really residents retreat. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I'll be damned. Well, what is Bro, Martha's Vineyard again? Is, the, is this why this be, it became like the president's fucking uh, uh, vacation spot? Because they won't be hearing the secrets anyway that are being talked about there? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know, but that it sounds that's, quite that's funny. crazy. Yeah. But yeah, that's what happened with Hawaiian Creole was created by children. Uh, and it's a combination of English, 
uh, Polynesian, Japanese, and Chinese. Cool, I'll be damned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. It's wild. Sometimes, like th- the thing that you can learn is just like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to say, it, but just like, goddamn. Some yeah. people are to worldly to stupid, mm-hmm. you know? And it's just like, you have to accept the reality that the world is just the way it is. It's crazy. I have you guys know. ever heard Have you guys ever heard of the Gullah people? Yes, yes. I have. A uh, very like, unique yeah. fucking language and cuisine. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're a community of, of African Americans who are complete culturally and linguistically separate from and that's because of where they live they lived in the back country of like uh the carolinas yeah. and uh really? oh is this where they found like the family that was still fucking singing like a funeral song from africa probably <clears throat> because be, yeah, they, they yeah they, they they they're a very distinct group um and it's really cool i'm looking at the I'm trying I saw, to see if uh, there's any like a culinary deep... documentary on them once. It was really fucking good. Yeah. No, they're they're really uh, cool people. I'm glad we have them. <laughs> sounds pretty dope. Honestly. Uh Chris, Chris Rock is a gala. Yeah, I mean I know that. Yep. Yes, it was. It was indeed the gala song. Chris Rock is a gala Geechee? So yes. Yeah. So is Michelle Obama. Well, what the hell? As a, like culturally or like descended, descendedly? The de- de- descended, descended. Okay. I'm like, yeah. didn't he grow up in like? He grew right, up in like, like. I mean, these people still yeah. exist. Like, you can just, just I mean, yeah, you can yeah. be born like into Gala culture and then still into like you don't have to live isolated from the rest oh of the i know United i know i was just like i was just yeah. like there I just, it is chris rock grew up in like new york so i'm just like i wanted to clarify yeah. what he meant by that because like yeah. nothing nothing like you think like like everybody hates chris's bullshit but like you think that would come up at some point <laughs> <sighs> it's, it's sort of like that one meme i saw on tiktok uh that one viral video I saw on TikTok, which claims that the the last, last, last remnant of the Roman Empire uh, died in like New York City in two thousand three. Mm-hmm. What? And they're mm-hmm. basing they're, they're basing that on that's that's the last descendant of the last Ottoman emperor, and then the you know, Ottomans took over from the Byzantines, and the Byzantines took over from the Eastern. Roman Empire, and then you had the Roman Empire. It's the assumption that, you know, Rome didn't truly fall. It just kept being changed to different... It just got switched to different hands. Yeah. So they're so saying cool. that technically, technically the last descendant of of Rome died in New York City in apartments. The, I, I mean, yeah. there's, uh, for, every, for every realm, there's like a million of these guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it was really funny. It was it was it was it was interesting, but I I don't put a whole lot of stock into it. Rome Rome fell, you know. I say Rome fell in like fourteen whatever when the Ottomans took over. Rome yeah. still exists. I just to like be clear about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. I've <laughs> been there. <laughs> Yeah, if I mean, we need to get yeah, I've been to Rome as well. I'm talking about the Roman Empire. I'm sorry. Right, right. right. Not Roma. <laughs> yeah, Roma. Yeah. I mean, if you want to well, be really I technical, think. the Roman Empire still exists because the Vatican exists. If we want to get yeah. really technical, it uh, actually exists. And I'm a proud defender. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Yeah, looping back. Uh, I mean, looping back. Looping back to it. Uh, I I have discovered not too long ago that yes, my family is Black Roman nobility, which means that we were literally ennobled to be defenders of the fucking Holy See. Were what? What does that? What, 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 yeah. What does that mean? Black Roman. What does that mean? No. Roman from He's Roman. No, no, because there's two types of Roman nobility, uh, basically of nobility that was given by the Pope, which was basically the white nobles and the, and the black nobles. And oh, it's so you're because, the bad guy. No, it's because, it's, it's because uh, basically the, the, um, 
the noble god of the Pope traditionally has a helmet with like a black uh, horse uh, horsehair plume on it. Mm. Uh, so we were literally the people who were like the fucking defenders of the Holy See. Of course oh, yeah. you were. So literally, literally, just like on the day that the Pope decreed that, is like you guys were wearing Puma and the other guys were wearing Adidas, and that's how <laughs> like you faced it. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. That's if the glorious. Vatican was in Moscow, that's how it would have gone down. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. You are the Pumas and you're the Adidas, and you will hate each other for the rest of the time. But you know, a daughter from your family and a son from your family are gonna hook up when they're like 14 years old and cause a bunch of chaos. Damn. Crap. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, by, the, by the way, do you guys know that, the, that Steve Bard, Martin Short, and Tom Hanks have colonoscopy parties together? Uh, let's get people... What? Martin? Can I you, did not need to know this knowledge. Can you please unsay I that? I like, I, can you please... God damn it. Look, why are like, gonna do it? Might as well do it, do it with your brothers. Why would you transfer this information into other people's heads? Yeah, this is I gross. really did not need to notice right now. <laughs> God damn it, Silver! I, w- I would much rather <laughs> learn that Leonardo DiCaprio in like um, you know, in them like find out they're vampires that drink blood to keep themselves young, and that's why the only. <laughs> Date people who are twenty five years and younger because they need the fresh blood. I thought it was the adrenochrome. I don't know. I'm not a conservative. I'm not stupid. (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, you know. Oh, uh, one more recommendation before before the stream ends. I highly recommend you guys check out the 1996 version of Romeo and Juliet. It is. Fucking amazing! It's set Claire in a... is, is was Juliet. Yeah, or... Romeo, Romeo plus yeah. Juliet. Yes, I, it was a. Oh, I, I've seen it. I've seen it several times since I was a child because I don't know why. It's an it's, incredible yes, it's really movie. Fucking good. It's set, what is it's, so good about it, this? They take the whole the whole uh, setting and move it from yeah, Italy it... to Florida. Yeah, it's set in fucking <laughs> Florida. Oh. It's, like, it's, like a, it's like the 90s. But other than that, the story is exactly yeah, the same. And John Leguizamo plays... Um, which family does he play? The uh, I, he's, Yeah, he plays He plays as like one of the leaders of the Capulets. I forgot yeah. his exact character. But he is so Are they so like other good. families, like white trash families? No, no they're they're like mafia gangsters. Families. That would be yeah, so mafia good. Though. That would be like yeah. the, <laughs> Florida white trap alligator wrestlers. No, 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 no. <laughs> but Gideon, Gideon, Gideon. This is still in the fucking in the uh, Florida is where all the drugs are. You know the gangster movie Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So like, so like, yeah, so like uh, literally so, that. Yeah. So the Montagues are like most most of the Montagues are like white. Trash people. They're not white trash. They're, they're white gangsters, like Italian white gangsters. It's and like then like weird, the like Capulets. Like... Yeah, yeah, Capulets are are all like Cuban and Dominicans. They're, no, they're was... like a Cuban and Dominican family. No, I, I, I didn't read the ethnicities. I just thought they were like, but I just it, the fact is, in this, it's in this like a uh, like like alternate version of LA. That's what I found fun. This kind of like yeah. this kind of like bordering cyberpunk like. Like crime ridden city dystopia. No, no, it's a fucking West Side Story, also like Romeo and Juliet, just in Chicago. I actually, I, it's probably it's been a long time since. Uh, it's been a long time since oh, I yeah, wrote Romeo and Juliet. This is yeah, uh, John, like, like, John Lake Wizamo plays uh, Tybalt, Juliet's cousin, and he does an amazing. <laughs> I mean, I know John Lake Wizamo gets joked on a lot. He really is an amazing actor. I don't hate him. That'll stay. Yeah. Also, uh, I don't know who that is. I I have to say, seeing the thing, seeing the pictures again, uh, I think I now understand where my bisexuality comes from. That. <laughs> 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 like, uh, listen, that? L- listen, listen. Oh. Uh, 
if, I don't know if I'm... Uh, like, I'm you not, know. Yeah, I'm not bi, <laughs> but I am autistic. And from Tumblr, and from what Tumblr explains, autism is a form of gay, so I think I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, you, you know, you know... <laughs> Yeah, there's. I, this doesn't feel straight. Like somehow there's something about this that isn't. Why is he wearing yeah. an armor? It is. Is he fighting alligators later? Is that what's happening? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a, a party. costume party. It's a masquerade yeah. party. Yeah. Have you not? Have you not watched a Red Romeo and Juliet? You know who's a masquerade party. Oh, okay, dude. I fucking. I have. <laughs> I. It's been a while since high school. That's fair. Sorry. <laughs> Good lord. Also, that last one by Seator. <laughs> Love it. I like, rewarded uh, fucking life of Jack Brian. By Jesus. Uh, this is, this is, uh, I pulled one I of those thought, numbers thought, ones. Thought, and here I thought that Seator would never, never be horny. Yeah. <laughs> there there he is. What in... You have it here first. I don't, I don't think he can hear you. I assume he's not listening to the chat, uh, to the stream. Oh. The fucking. Yeah. Probably isn't. Wouldn't no, he's still chuckled defeat... by Jesus. Hang on. Okay. Wouldn't that party defeat the purpose of the masquerade? Mm. Uh, I wouldn't know. Oh, geez. This uh, is some... I, I just I just remembered from Romeo plus uh, Juliet. There it is. Uh, instead of brand placement, they just changed the brand names. Like, they kept the artistic style of the logos, but, cha but changed the names. So, like, Coca-Cola is called uh, L'Amour. In 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 the in the movie, I, sorry, is, I was. Just... I would drink that shit honestly. If Coca Cola was called yeah. more, I mean, I drink Coca Cola too. <laughs> Let's not pretend yeah. that I'm above that sort of thing. Yeah. You ever drink Pepsi Burger? Yes, I actually like Pepsi. I'm a, I like Pepsi. I don't Pepsi. like. I, I'm not. It's I'm not opposed good. to it. Beppies. Beppies. Yeah, I like Beppies. that even more. Beppies. Nepis. Pilk. Nepis. <laughs> Pilk. Nepis. You brought this on yourself. Oh shit! Sorry, just random, random thought. Did you, uh, did you know, Gideon? Uh, uh recently, uh, when, uh, when the new fucking, when your, uh, April, April Fool's video was coming out, I was yeah. watching it, and my mother saw it, and, and she was like, "Oh my god, is that Gideon? <laughs> wow, he looks old with that hair." <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Paul, do you know do you know Burger in real life? Yes. Yeah, we've oh, met yes. uh I we actually we went we went on vacation together. I've met his mom. Yeah. Cool. Uh she's cool. very cool. Nice. Yeah. She 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 introduced uh, she introduced Gideon to the to the Zedong lighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you still using that lighter, by the way? Oh yeah, I still have it. I mean, Hell I can't. Yeah. I, I can't use it. Uh, I can't believe that you lived in this house for however many fucking years without finding out there's a Mao Zedong lighter. Yeah, in hang, on, hang, game, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling it out for the for the for the fucking bit. It's it's incredible. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I, all I can I see here, by the way, is configure camo studio. I'm just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Are you still know, configuring the camo studio? Yeah, it, it, literally, yes. Connected device running camo. Sh shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is not just you, dude. Oh my god. Uh, I turned on my camera too early. <laughs> uh, yeah, I run. I like. I've been running my webcam through OBS as well, so. No, Ooh, I use an old phone. God, I use bro. an old phone as a webcam, man. That's that. That is some fucking. That is some tech shit. That's some yeah, runner shit. Yeah, bro. Use like I different streams, data streams, so you can't get hijacked. Yeah, yeah. 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 Burger. This is exactly what I. You know, recently, need. I recently bought the most fucking uh, Decker computer as well. And look, will... look at this <laughs> metadata shit. That I have to sort through. Yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. That'll happen to you. Like, bro. I'm telling you, Paul. You got to use that 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 program. I know. I checked it. I checked it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll 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 take you a lot of time. Hang on. Is it fucking working now? Let me check. No, it's not. Apparently not. Oh, uh, no. uh. You can just Thank post you. a picture of the lighter and send it into the chat. Like, <laughs> no, but I, I want to show and tell. 
I want to <laughs> show you uh, a, a clip from Boy, a, a, a clip a, a clip from Romeo plus Juliet's the gas station scene. Uh, it's like three minutes long. It's a really good scene. Good. It should be enough for me to fix my tech issues. <laughs> Let me try to see if I can do. I'll do this after the stream, but I'll do like a YouTube share thing. Because <clears throat> oh, yeah, if it's. I'm thinking about going for a fuck. It's going to be 21 degrees on on Saturday here. Oh, oh, damn. damn, that's it's that's a like nice day. It's seven right now. To it's six. Seven. Would anyone be so kind as to translate that into freedom units for me? No. No. Nice. I actually, pro I assume in California that would be counted, and like LA specifically, that would probably be counted as, as like cool. Well, wait, yeah. Uh, well, it's 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 fifteen. It's fifteen here in Sioux Falls. I would not see fucking help. No degrees, you fucking idiot. Twenty-one. Fucking have the capital. Oh, it's gonna be in the twenties next week. It's gonna be really nice next week. Finally, winter is over. It was it was going on too long. I've been back. To oh, sixty-nine. Oh, no, nice. Now, well, now, sixty-nine point eight. Nice. Nice. Fuck nice. Face. No, now now as a truck driver, we're going through the uh, the wacky and wild. Um, because a lot of us go drive through Wyoming. Yeah. And basically, what's happening in Wyoming now is that during the day. It's all nice and sunny. It's in like the tens and and like fifteens, but then overnight they just get like two to three inches of the wettest, sloppiest snow you ever you ever darn seen. The wettest, they'll get like an toppy on the blacktop. Yeah, like literally, like it'll go from just like a clear night to just a downpour of just the heaviest, wettest snow you've ever seen. Motherfucker! I hope you and then by. And then by I the think... morning, it's the, by the morning, it's like all gone. It's all melted. Damn. I'll just have to send the picture, unfortunately. All right, all right I, it's, it, it, do it because I'm about to end the stream. I'm about to end. Yeah, it. Right. I'm everybody, about to end have it all. a good day. Wait, all Bye. is about to be ended. Yep. Is the stream um, ended? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 no, wait. Mount Stong lighter. <laughs> We'll come back in two hours and he finally figured out his webcam. No, I'm taking a picture. Is the stream over? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to start I that. This is, such, this is such a great lighter, dude. Yeah, bro. Oh, Hail champion, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs>